We're just days away from the solar eclipse. For months now, we've all seen this path of totality showing which parts of Ohio will be in complete darkness. But now viral claims online, including articles posted by Newsweek and Forbes, claims that path is shifting. Thanks for staying with us for 10 TV News at 4.30. I'm Angela Ann. And I'm Yolanda Harris. A lot of people are now wondering, do I need to change my location for Monday? Well, this afternoon, we have the answers as we verified that question. Has the path of totality shifted? This is the eclipse blog that started the buzz around the world. John Irwin, an expert eclipse map maker predicting the entire northern edge of the path of totality much more narrow. Is it true? Our sources, the Perkins Observatory Director, NASA, and the Doppler 10 team. It basically comes down to um, a more accurate determination of the sun's diameter, um, which you think would be rather straightforward, but it's not because the sun, unlike the Earth, doesn't have a solid surface. Don Stevens is the director for Delaware's Perkins Observatory. He says measuring distance to the sun is like measuring a moving target of hot gases. So this shift isn't a surprise. Based on the new path trajectory, I mean, we're not talking five feet. We're talking, you said, how far of a difference? It looks to me like approximately about a quarter mile, maybe a half mile at most. Will it shift again between now and Monday? Hopefully not. NASA says predictions have not changed. However, an email explained that calculations that use a slightly larger radius for the size of the sun yield an eclipse path that is slightly narrower. This difference would only affect cities on the very edge of the path of totality. A few city blocks one way or the other could mean 20, 10, or 0 seconds of totality. Doppler 10 meteorologist Michael Behrens verified the science. When it comes to the eclipse, we've all been looking at maps just like this one for the better part of the last year as we plan our trips and our locations. But to actually create this map, you have to go through a lot of math. It involves the terrain of the Earth, the moon, and, well, the radius of the sun. And this research here from the University of Hawaii says the uncertainty around that radius is as much as 40 miles. That makes a difference because if you use a bigger sun in your calculation, well, that could make the path of totality a little bit different. And it changes the location between the halves and the have nots, and that could mean some places under one map that see the eclipse miss it under another. But when it comes to an event like this, who wants to hang out on the edges? Just drive a few more miles inland, you'll get more eclipse. All right, that was Michael Barron's. Thank you. So we can verify this claim does need a little context. Essentially, science is fluid, and the exact size of the sun is unknown, so the edge of the totality path could shift ever so slightly and what michael said jokingly was who wants to live on the edge yeah. go on the inside and just enjoy it in its entirety will it so. make it better mm -hmm. viewing for us if it shifted or worse viewing for us well and we spoke with cosi as well and mm -hmm. they also said basically um the science surrounding the sun which they explained and verified but he cosi basically said if you're in the path or or um the outskirts the of it like if you're right in the path, you don't have to worry. Okay. But if you're right on the edge, which is us, which is right? Like less than a mile from yeah. the edge, then you might want to consider moving just ever so slightly. Oh, 